Hey everyone, first of all, thank you so much for 200k subscribers. It means a lot. Now, you know, my channel is mainly focused on SQL. So I get to interact with a lot of people who are learning SQL. And the general feedback that I get is SQL is so complicated to learn, right? A lot of people who are getting started to learn SQL are kind of struggling, right? And initially, it's kind of surprising for me because SQL is considered to be one of the most easiest programming languages to learn. But still, so many people who are learning SQL are kind of struggling, right? So I kind of spoke to a few people and then after analyzing their situation, I realized that in my opinion, there are three reasons on why people struggle to learn SQL. The number one reason, in my opinion, is by not following the right approach to learning SQL. So when it comes to SQL, it's not just about getting started with writing SQL queries. Even before you write SQL queries, you need to understand some certain fundamental concepts about relational databases, about tables, about constraints, uh, different SQL commands, and then get started with uh, writing basic queries, right? So before you even move to joining multiple tables, understand all the fundamental basic SQL queries that you can write, right? And then move on to joining multiple tables, then move on to subqueries, then some window functions, etc. So there is like a step-by-step -step approach that you need to follow, a hierarchical approach that you need to follow to understand SQL properly, right? If you don't follow this and if you keep learning, uh, like you learn someday subqueries, then you come to joins, then you learn uh, the CT, then recursion, then procedures and etc. You're going to get completely confused. So you need to follow or do a course where they have well designed it for beginners, right? So you start from complete scratch from step zero and then move on to step n, right? So if you can follow this approach, then it becomes easier. But if you like jumble the different concepts together and without understanding certain basic concepts, you move on to some other concepts, you're going to struggle, right? So that's reason number one. And the reason number two is that you're not putting the effort that is required to learn SQL, right? So it's not just about watching tutorial videos, Not uh, it's not about watching someone else solve SQL queries. You're, not, you're never going to understand SQL if you watch someone else solve SQL queries. You need to do it yourself. You need to make your hands dirty. You need to practically learn SQL. That is by practicing to solve SQL queries. Even though you struggle, you try to solve it. You look at the solution, you solve it, and you try, to, maybe you try to solve the same problem on few different days, right? Just see if you understand it, right? So you need to put in that effort. If you are not able to put in that effort, you're never going to learn. And the third reason on why people struggle, in my opinion, is because you're kind of trying to learn from someone or you're trying to learn from some courses who are making simple concepts more complex, right? Now, SQL is very easy. In fact, anything, any programming language that you want to learn, you can learn it easily if you have someone who can teach it, teach a complex concept in a more easier way, rather than uh, learning it from someone who kind of makes simple concepts more complex to understand, right? So you need to find a proper tutor or a proper course who can simplify the concepts rather than making it more complex. Now, when it comes to the problem number two, I cannot help. You will need to find a way to help yourself because you need to put your commitment, you need to put in the effort, you need to make your hands dirty, you need to practice to learn SQL, right? But when it comes to the problem number one and three, I can help. So I have my own SQL bootcamp, which I have designed myself. I have designed it such a way that I start from absolute scratch. So even if you have no idea about SQL, no idea about programming, you are from a non-IT background, you are let's say 50 or 60 years old, and you just want to learn without no prior knowledge, you can still learn because I have designed the SQL Bootcamp that I start from absolute scratch and I take you from the basic to intermediate to advanced concepts, right? So I kind of solve the problem number one by the way how I have designed my SQL Bootcamp or how I have structured the SQL Bootcamp. So that is, way, that is how I can solve the problem number one. Now, when it comes to problem number three, I kind of teach every concept in a more simple way. Rather than making it complex, I can make it simple. If you have ever watched or seen the comments to all my videos that I get, you would have seen that one of the most frequent comments that I receive is that you have made a complex concept simple, right? That's the whole purpose of my channel. I want to teach in a more simple way rather than showing that, oh, this is a very complex concept. I want to show you that this is a very easy concept. If you learn it in the right way, if you break the problem into multiple parts, it becomes much easier. And that is the approach I follow when teaching, right? So this is how I can solve the problem number one and three. And if you are interested in learning SQL by from my SQL bootcamp, then all the details about the bootcamp is present in my website. It's also present in Lighthall. 
Now, Lighthall is a platform that I use to teach this live bootcamp classes. Okay, so all the details are present in the description. But for those who do not want to uh, go to my website to understand all of that, let me just give you a quick summary of what my bootcamp is. Okay, so. First of all, I want to say that in the last 1.5 years, I have done seven different SQL live bootcamps and I have taught over 3,800 learners and I have received two common feedbacks from my learners as well as from people who wanted to join but did not join, right? So the two common uh, feedback was one, the cost is very high. So that is the first problem. The second problem is that the timing, the live class timing did not match with their requirement. So in the upcoming bootcamp, which is going to start from 3rd June 2023, I have tried to solve these two problems. The first problem, I have reduced the price by 40%. So all my previous bootcamp used to be $50, but the upcoming bootcamp that I'm going to be starting is reduced to $30, right? That is INR 2,400 rupees, which I think is pretty cheap for a live uh, coaching uh, bootcamp. Okay, the second problem or the second feedback was with regards to timing. I tried to solve it by having this bootcamp on weekends. All my previous bootcamps used to be on weekdays and not everyone would be able to join it. But this time I have made the uh, bootcamp on weekends. So one class on Saturday and one session or class on Sunday. Okay, and it's going to be total of 20 sessions. Each session is going to be of 1.5 hours long. And generally what I do is the last 15 minutes of the session, I try to keep it for Q&A, okay? So any doubts or any questions that you have, I'll try to answer it at that time. It's not that you cannot ask me questions uh, in between the class, you can ask, but if there are too many questions, so rather than disturbing the whole class, I try to answer it at the end, okay? Now, the session itself is very interactive. It's not like I kind of on my video and on my audio and I just keep on teaching everything. It's an interactive class where I ask you questions, a lot of questions, and I get a lot of answers as well. From all my previous bootcamp, I have seen so many people are so active, so interactive. They answer my questions and I give you assignments right uh, live during the class and you kind of can share your solutions. I try to take solutions from multiple different people. I try to compare it. I showcase it in the class. So it's a very interactive class. And after the class, generally, I also give you assignments which you can use to practice writing SQL queries. And during this bootcamp, I will be using multiple different data sets. I also have some case studies. So we kind of will not just be learning from one set of data, but we have multiple different data sets where we will be writing multiple different SQL queries. So during this span of like 20 sessions, I think we'll end up having much more than 100 SQL queries that we will be looking at solving and giving assignments and etc. Okay, and one more thing that I want to mention here is about if you miss the live classes. So let's say you are watching this video after the bootcamp has already started, maybe 10 days after the bootcamp or 20 days after the bootcamp, you can still join. Why? Because even if you miss a live class, you can still watch the recording. The recording of all the live classes will be available on Lighthall for up to one year. So even if you miss a live class, you can watch the recording. And if you have any questions, you can post your questions in the group community that is available as part of the Lighthall uh, chat. So, so that's one update about the recordings will be available. Uh, one more update is that a lot of people who join my classes generally join from US or from India. So the timing, I have tried to make sure that the timing will be convenient for both people who are joining from US as well as for people who are joining from India. So all the timing details are present in my website. You can check that. Okay. Uh, and one more thing is that a lot of people who are trying to uh, make the payment from India kind of get an error saying that their card is declined or etc. Uh, the simple solution for that is you need to enable international payment. If you are not able to uh, enable international payment, then you can send an email to support at lighthall.co and then I can give you an alternate uh, solution to make the payment. So I think all the other details about the bootcamp, the course content itself, I think I'll try to display it here or you will find the course content or what are the different things that you will be learning during this bootcamp. It will be present in my uh, uh, website. You can download a PDF of that and uh, just see through that. And all the other details are also present in the website. So definitely check that out. And finally, uh, who is this bootcamp for? I would say for everyone. Basically, anyone who wants to learn SQL from scratch, even if you have no idea about SQL, about any programming language, you will still learn SQL from this bootcamp. Okay. The only prerequisite is that you need to know how to use a computer and you need to know how to basically use the internet. If you can do that, everything else I will teach you during the class. Okay. So I hope to see you all and thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye.